Chapter 22, Christmas Canon The king was a great king. Well, he was an alright king. The king's not important here. What was important was the fact that the king had ordered the destruction of the lyre on top of the hill. Is it lyre or lyra? The military planner asked. It doesn't matter, it needs to be destroyed, the king said in a king fax. The military planner put off the king's seemingly random request indefinitely to focus on the enemies that were invading, because they were an actual threat and they often would suffer heavy friendly fire casualties as long as he showed up to the fight. One Christmas, the king was really pushing the military planner to destroy the evil liar. A hill with a giant harp on top isn't much of an adversary, the military designer said, but it was the end of the fiscal year and the king was trying to finish up his pet project slash kingdom invasions, so the military planner figured he'd get it over with. The first machine he designed was a giraffe-like roadster. After the simulation successfully reached the top, he planned to add weapons to the parts of the machine that would survive the whole way. But the roadster couldn't navigate at all, and it became apparent that even with weapons attached, it wouldn't be able to take down the liar. Then he built a three-wheeled cooler roadster, which was even worse at climbing the stairs. The freedom this customization gives me is as frustrating as it is rewarding, he noted. And why am I making this harder than it needs to be? The military developer asked. Yes, he was known for his elaborate and often quirky destruction machines, but this was a simple project that had a clear and concise ending. I don't need to climb the hill, I simply need to destroy the liar on top of it. So with that goal in mind, he built the easiest contraption he could think of a cannon on top of a stick. When he started the simulation, the cannon fired, but the projectile didn't start at a high enough elevation and it fell short. He couldn't build the tower any taller, so he added some pistons to the sides to act as an elevation element. But unfortunately, the new extending tower was still too short. He almost made things difficult again, imagining a complicated additional elevation element on the sides, but realized all he needed was one more block of height, which he had room for on his original design. And with the tallest cannon machine, he finally hit the liar. The simulation's goal was to destroy 80% of it, and with the addition of two more cannons, he destroyed it in its entirety, while also sparing the lives of all the local sheep. I'm glad I was given the chance to explore a new way of tackling this problem, the military designer said. If I hadn't been given such a challenge, I might not have ever learned the nuances of all the unique systems I wasn't otherwise using, he noted, as he created the most terrifying piston bomb monster any of his enemies had ever seen.